Hi, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about uh, optimizing latency sensitive queries at Facebook uh, with Presto and Alexio. Uh, my name is Kay. I'm a software engineer uh, in Facebook. I've been in Presto team for about one and a half years, uh, mainly focusing on interactive use cases and low latency queries. Uh, before that, I also worked on big data distributed system in Baidu and Alibaba back in China. Uh, Bin, do you want to give a self introduction? Thanks, Kay. Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm glad to be here to co present this work, our collaboration with Facebook with Kay today. Uh, I'm Bin. I'm one of the founding members in Aluxio. Uh, before joining Aluxio, I was in Google working on the next generation of storage systems. So uh, in this work, we started about early this year, uh, collaborating on building a uh, deep integration between Presto and Aluxio. So um, you will hear more details. So in today's agenda, we are going to talk about uh, Presto architecture and the problems we wanted to solve, uh, our re-architecture process and how its performance looks like. Uh, lastly, Bing is going to talk about Aluxio deep dive. So Presto is a distributed SQL uh, query engine, which is open sourced uh, in 2013 by Facebook. Uh, it has been widely adopted by the community. Uh, many big companies are using it, including Alibaba, uh, Uber, uh, Twitter, etc. cetera. Um, as of now, within Facebook, we have 40K servers uh, deployed with Presto. Each day, we scan around one exabyte of data. In addition to interactive and analytic use cases, we also have ETL jobs uh, running on Presto. Uh, let's first take a look at how Presto works. Uh, this is a high level overview of Presto architecture. Uh, when the SQL comes in, uh, Presto parser will pass the query and generate an AST, uh, abstract syntax tree. Um, then the planner and optimizer will make calls to uh, Hive Metastore to get partition information and generate a physical plan. Uh, based on the plan, the scheduler will get the file information from HDFS, schedule them in a load balancing way uh, to the workers. Presto workers will fetch the data from HDFS and do the compute uh, and finally return the result. One thing I want to mention here is that this architecture is completely uh, disaggregated, meaning that uh, not only the Metastore, but also the HDFS are disaggregated from Presto servers. Uh, Presto just serve uh, as a compute component and doesn't store any data. Uh, the storage doesn't have any compute logic. So one downside of this architecture is that it's usually bottlenecked uh, on network I.O. In order to uh, serve low latency uh, use cases, we want to reduce the round trip costs to the external components such as Metastore and HDFS. Um, that's where the cache comes into the picture. So we have built uh, various cache solutions over Presto to bring down the overall latency, such as uh, versioned Metastore cache to cache the partition uh, information to save the round trip to Metastore. We have ACL uh, schema cache. We have file handle cache, which is to uh, avoid file open course to HDFS. Uh, we also have file footer cache to do similar things. And we have the data cache. Uh, in addition to reduce redundant compute, we introduced plan cache and partial result caching. Uh, data caching can make scan faster, but still needs to scan the data and do the aggregation. We want to leverage the compute results or uh, at least partial uh, compute results we have, especially when the query pattern is quite uh, uh, repetitive. 
Uh, but in today's presentation, we will uh, solely focus on the data caching part. Uh, so data caching is a common optimization technique to cache uh, the working data set closer to the compute node. So with less trips to remote storage, it would reduce IO and improve the overall latencies. So uh, in this new architecture, we have data caching on each uh, Presto worker and store the caching data in the uh, local SSD. Uh, one of the critical pain when any distributed system try to do the caching is the um, node affinity. If there's no node affinity, the caching rate will be low. Then basically there will be no, uh, not much point of doing caching. So that's why we introduced the uh, soft affinity scheduler to save the day. So instead of randomly selecting the node to assign the data, our affinity scheduler will try uh, the best efforts to assign the same split to the same worker. Uh, split uh, in Presto is the smallest data processing unit. So when the underlying storage is HDFS, we will use the file pass in the split to decide the destination position. Um, we sort or the running nodes and get the nodes in the position of uh, file pass hash codes uh, mod number of nodes. But when the preferred workers are too busy to handle more splits, instead of being blocked, we would fall back to choosing the least busy worker. And this is how we get the name soft affinity. Um, although such a strategy can hurt the cache uh, hit rate. It prevents hotspots in workers and reduces the overall scheduling time. Uh, compared with hard affinity, soft affinity has the ability to consider workload to avoid uh, scheduling skew and is more um, flexible. So when we are choosing um, the data caching library, we have various options. Um, Facebook itself uh, has various internal caching libraries, but the only issue with them is that they are not open sourced. We try to build everything available to the open source community. Uh, when we were doing the uh, prototype, we chose to build our own data caching solution to expedite the whole exploration. So we built a fire merge uh, caching, which is a very naive solution that uh, copies the data uh, from remote storage to local flash and merge the small files to make sure the file count won't grow too large. Uh, this solution is just to serve as a proof of concept. Uh, uh, during the experiment, we observed that this particular matrix a uh, caching rate going up and down quite drastically. The reason behind it uh, is when we access data and merge them into large files, um, the cache hit rate is getting better. But as soon as the eviction event occurred, the big files were removed, um, leading the cache hit rate dropping to zero. So the takeaway from this experiment is that um, we cannot work with big files. We need to have small units, uh, basically segment-based data caching. Also, we want pluggable eviction uh, policies and configuration of various uh, aspects like sizes, resource usage, etc. cetera. Um, that's when we started collaborating with Alexio. Um, they've been the experts in caching solutions uh, when we first learned about Alexio, they were only available as a service, but um, it didn't work for us because additional service will increase additional hops and lead to a longer end-to-end -end war time, which is not ideal for our latency sensitive use cases. But Alexio team were quite willing to help work on a solution for us in Presto and provided 
uh, a Java-based open source library. They also provide detailed stats uh, regarding cache usage and all the other great features I listed here, uh, which was uh, exactly what we wanted. So with this integration, we decided to do a benchmark on one of our use cases. Uh, we took two full days worth of queries from the production cluster and shadowed to the test clusters. We shadowed around uh, 70,000 queries. Uh, our test cluster is 600 uh, workers and each uh, worker has 400 and 60 gigabytes uh, flash available for data caching. We use LRU eviction policy and one megabyte as the block size, uh, meaning data is read, stored and evicted in the uh, one megabyte size. The benchmark results was quite promising. Um, from a query execution time perspective, our P75 uh, latency dropped from 31 seconds to 14 seconds, which is 54% uh, uh, improvements. And on P95, we have 48% uh, percent improvements as well. Uh, from the IO savings perspective, uh, originally we read uh, 582 terabytes from remote storage. Uh, but with Alexio Cache, we only read 251 terabytes, uh, basically 57% of savings in IO, which uh, is quite uh, impactful. Uh, last but not least, our cache hit rate was much more stable. Uh, we were quite happy with the benchmark results and decided to uh, move it on to the production. Um, it's been half a year since our benchmark test. Uh, as of now, we have adopted such solution to our various uh, use cases in production. We have seen issues during the process, but now the library is much more stabilized. Uh, this is a cache hit rate uh, graph um, of our one use case, which is to serve A-B testing uh, platform in Facebook. For this uh, case, we have more than 90% of the read uh, coming from the cache, which saves us tons of IOs to the HDFS. Uh, and it has been stably running for more than uh, two months now. Uh, next, I will hand over to Bing to talk about the Alexio deep dive. Thanks, Kay. So uh, yeah, please, next slide. Alexio is an open source orchestration system. It's a new layer sitting between the compute and persistent store in data stack. Alexio is commonly used to speed up the OLAP queries for SQL query, query engines, including Presto, Hive, Spark, as well as some other AI or machine learning uh, workloads for, for example, using TensorFlow or PyTorch. Next slide, please. But the Aluxio is a full feature distributed system. However, for this talk, I will fully focus on the collaboration with Presto core developers at Facebook to integrate Presto with the local library version of Aluxio embedded into Presto workers. And this Aluxio local data caching provides a HDFS compatible interface to each Presto worker backed by external storage and a local directory to store the cached data on SSD in various cases. On cache hit, this interface will direct uh, the query to fetch data from the local storage, which is backed on SSD in Facebook. And on cache miss, it will go to a remote data store in Facebook and read data, fetch data, and then put the data into the cache. So it's a, a fairly simple in a high level. Next slide. So in here are some technical details when implementing this local cache version of Aluxio, particularly informed by the Presto workloads. We 
decided to put the cash to non sequent in a fixed size segments. So in this way, to we can work better with non sequential read pattern commonly seen for ad hoc, ad hoc presto queries, and we choose the fixed size the segments which we call pages to store in Alexio. And we also store them off heap rather than on the JVM memory on SSDs to reduce the JVM garbage collection pressure. Secondly, because Presto servers is highly concurrent by design, we also implement a highly concurrent and thread safe locking scheme to make sure it's a thread safe when serving Presto workloads. And also we have to, so this is the, uh, this is the pseudo code you can see uh, from this slide. This is the, how we are doing uh, the cache. Next slide, please. So it sounds like it's pretty simple, but when you're really implementing this and making this into production use for Facebook, you will find a lot of different challenges. So here are some more optimizations in the process of um, productionization of this Presto slash Aloxio combination. For example, we introduce a pluggable cache replacement policies, including LRU as the default, which is shown in the benchmark, and also LFU as the optional, because we are informed that there are different use cases may leverage different, different policies to optimize for the performance. Uh, secondly, this cache library also supports different storage engines, including a store, uh, one version of the data store simply using a local file system and a more advanced store based on RocksDB, as they, which is embedded key value store. And also to handle the bursty cache inserts. So sometimes we see the queries come into Presto workloads at batches. Suddenly you have a lot of queries. To handle the bursty cache reads, which is converted into cache inserts. We uh, implement the async cache writes, which will queue these cache inserts in the background to avoid uh, saturating the writes, saturating the IO uh, when writing a lot of data. After, as mentioned by Kay, after launching the architecture for, for months, for a few, few months, uh, we found SSDs or even local Linux file system are expected to fail over because you're running at the Facebook scale. And how to handle the disk and the OSS call failures gracefully becomes an issue for us because now we are providing a state to, uh, to Presto. And this actually complicated a lot the implementation. For example, we have to implement a, a two-phase commit to handle the case when SSD simply stop responding to the system calls and mark this cache unavailable gracefully to the monitoring system so the press to, can still continue and the monitor uh, and DevOps will notice these uh, signals so they can take some further actions on top of that. Uh, this, this, kind, this type of issues come a lot really related to the handling the failures gracefully. Uh, so it's very easy to, um, to, to, to run, to maintain in production environment with a huge massive amounts of workloads. Next slide, please. So there are also a few ongoing efforts we're making, including to, ski, uh, to support a schema or table partition level cache quota. Uh, in this case, you can, on the Presto side, you can specify, oh, I want to specify, I want to cache at most one terabytes for this table or one terabytes for this partition. And you can do that, so this is an ongoing work. And there's also ongoing work to optimize for small files. Right now we're seeing uh, if you are working with small files, occasionally the cache hit ratio may drop due to uh, some inefficiency in the cache eviction. So we're working, um, working with K on the performance optimization for this. Uh, in the future, we may also take a, we, we may want to also take a look at a semantics aware caching to make more uh, smart, intelligent decisions on caching. Next slide. Uh, there are a few things I just want to mention. It's very easy to enable this local cache with Presto. You simply turn on a few flags in the 
cat catalog high properties files listed as, as, as here in this slide. If you want to find out more details, you can go to our joint blog uh, published in Presto blog site. Next slide. This is my last slide. If you want to uh, access more functionalities in addition to the ones from the local cache version, and here are the uh, list of advanced operations and policies you can you can implement and practice using a Luxio file system, which is a full featured distributed system, including the fine grained control on the working set. You can free or pin data in a cache. You can set a TTL uh, of data or directory in a cache. You can also set this metadata sync, automatically sync between a Luxio cache and persistent storage. Transform data, data transformation service is another new feature we're adding. You can convert CVS, CSV files into parquet or some other colonist format into the cache. And you can also migrate data from one end store to another, but exposing one single logical namespace for the different physical stores. And finally, you can still access your familiar file system CLIs, explicitly control the data. You can list the directories, you can, uh, you can delete directories, files, and this kind of CLIs are available through the Alexio file system CLI. You can go to the link below, which is the documentation we are having to, uh, to give an overview of Alexio file system. So that concludes my talk. Uh, next slide that has all the pointers you may be interested in and uh, related to the Slack, related to the publication of this uh, blog, joint blog, feel free to talk to us if you have any questions related to this uh, interesting and very useful combination for President Luxio.